This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Uh, listen, preseason. There's no preseason like breakdown. Nobody knows what the hell is going to happen. We don't know what's going on through Mike McDaniel's mind. Are you kidding me? We're going to start guessing what Mike McDaniel's going to do. No, but seriously, today or, or the game is really about Mitchell Gude. It's about watching um, Kendall Lamb uh, make his progression. Uh, I'm sure they're going to play Austin Jackson. Happy birthday, Austin Jackson. I'm sure they're going to try to play Liam Eikenberg. Robert, don't try to crash the damn car while we're live on the show. What's wrong with you, dude? Anyway, so, uh, you know, there's that's what this game is about. It's about watching the, the no-name guys, the young guys, the transition guys, you know, Cameron Good. You know, I've been a Cameron Good guy since last year. Hell, I was so I was kind of nervous that they put him on the practice squad because I thought somebody would steal him. And he's got versatility, he's got size, he's got length, he's got athleticism. You know, he's just green. And and he's showing up a little bit more this year now. That I want to see what happens when the lights go on. You know, the Mike White um uh, Skyler Thompson battle is gonna be fun for this preseason. See, I I'm the kind of Dolphins fan that is going to enjoy the, I enjoy all the preseason games because there is a reason to watch. No matter what anybody tells you, there's a reason to watch because there are positions. Elijah Campbell, he is on the brink, I think, of stealing the job, you know, from Deshaun Elliott and from Brandon Jones. And and Brandon is going, you know, Brandon's probably the guy that's going to find his groove during the season. That's probably what it is. It is because the poor guy's coming back from a knee injury. So he doesn't have nearly as much time as Elijah has had all offseason working in the new system, getting ahead of Brandon, being able to hit and make plays and all of those things. So I think to me, you know, a guy like Elijah Campbell is really exciting to see what's going on. So that's what this game is all about today. This game is about those kind of guys and find out. You know, um, um, what's it called? Um, damn it, A-Chain. You know, you want to see him get a couple plays because he's going he's gonna to be a big part of the offense during the regular season. I think he's going to get over five carries a game. And I know he's going to be a receiver out of the backfield, so you want to get him involved in the offense. Even though we kind of all feel, if you've been to practice or anything, you kind of look at him and you go, this kid's got the goods. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the good thing about it, but you want to see him out there, right? And then you, you've you got uh, Ahmed, and Ahmed did a fabulous job filling in last year. Every time he would, I know it was only like 12 times, but the dude averaged five yards a carry. So he was always ready, a pro's pro. And I really like that about a young guy who stays ready and is not worried and is not in his head about his go and playing time or money or anything we like to use on the show and separate the issues and still be a professional and while Ahmed is not the number one guy he always stayed ready so I want to see him today you know I want to see him in this offense I want to see what he's doing on defense you know you want to see some of these young guys play and see what the hell is going on and who you're developing and you know where is certain guys in their development too in the secondary because you know what x is you you don't need to see javon holland but all the other guys you kind of want to see where they're at any of the guys coming back from injuries that are playing where they at physically so there's a lot of things to watch but it's not one of those things like well we got to see you know the offense put together uh two drives there's too many moving parts special teams will be also an experiment in this game so don't think that you're going to get if you get clean special teams today i'll be impressed listen danny crossman as it is is kind of um i gotta be honest with you he's on double secret probation okay Uh, i i know what happened i think the coach gave him a break because of some of the other stuff that went on and some of his players had to play on the on 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 the regular teams and so it kind of hurt his special teams and depth and the inconsistencies of the kicker and all that 
But, but I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I was not impressed with Danny Crossman last year. To me, he was the worst coach out of the group. And so if anybody comes back with a big-ass question mark on their heads, it's Danny Crossman. So Danny Crossman's got to start showing me also. Now, today, in game one of the preseason, there's a lot of mixing and matching up and experimenting, so it's really hard. But by game three, I need to start. I need to see some some good special teams from your from your starting units, and then at the beginning of the year in this first month, I, I better see much improved special teams units. Okay, much improved. I better see that because Danny Crossman to me was out of. You guys can pick on Josh Boyer all you want. The defense really never cost them games. They kept them in all the games. They weren't great or anything, but then again, they had no secondary. So I, I, I we've had this, this discussion, and I'm tired of it already. But to me, Danny Crossman was the worst coach out of the group last year. So that's one area that I'm kind of focusing on and saying, all right, what, what are we doing here on, on special teams? And are we, are we going to see improvement on special teams? Is it going to be a strength? Or is it going to be a weakness? And that's a real concern for me when we talk about special teams. So. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.